Hi friends, MD Vegan, I'm craving for greens. Uh, I have a free say salad today. You see, these are wonderful leaves. Yeah, I recently learned that is a, a curly endive, kind of endive, but this, I had no idea. But looking at it, the leaves are firm. Yeah, I would still say they are kind of tender, medium fern, let's say. I have some leaves picked from that head. And I always put them in a water bath. They hold longer. can be overnight or so when I get them. And they're still fresh. Put them in a water bath overnight or so and they get really fresh. And I can do that also repeatedly when they are wintering a little bit. But it's an easy way to keep the salad fresh. And the salad has to be fresh, the lettuce has to be fresh, otherwise not, I don't like it. <laughs> and maybe not, there's no other ingredient where freshness and crunchiness is so important as these lettuces. Here. But this is a, it's a nice leaf, you know, and when you tear it apart like this, you have this nice texture. Yeah? That's what a salad should be like. Yeah? And then you can add depending on what kind of leaves you have. For example, the butterhead is very tender, and I cannot put too many um, ingredients on top of that, because it was mesh, and it should remain crunchy. So what I put on this one today is first my standard combo, uh, tomatoes and onions. That's what I always do. Not always, but I like that. Here, tomatoes, I chopped it in small pieces today, the tomato, the onions I usually do. Anyway, half an onion. Not too big. But the tomatoes now are in smaller pieces than usual because I have extra greens to add. I have microgreens and cilantro. You could have taken parsley too. If you like for parsley, feel free to change that. Um, it's easy to change. Parsley is the Chinese cilantro. Or <laughs> the other way around, Chinese uh, uh, cilantro is the, <laughs> the Chinese parsley, they say. It's also Mexican. Um, spice, so herb, and uh, here's the cilantro. It's, a, it's, not a, it's a third of a bunch, not too much. I chopped it up. Yeah. And here an avocado. And that is also why um, cilantro might be uh, more appropriate because it's from Mexico, for example. Uh, they like uh, avocado and cilantro together. It's a Mexican spice combination, I mean, flavor. And tomato too. Very Mexican, of course. So I have these tomatoes, um, the avocados, and the cilantro. And these are these greens. And when you have the more greens, I would say the tomato can be smaller cut. Yeah. Let's see if that works. And also smaller cut is the microgreen I have. Um, these are um, radishes, um, other greens, um, lentils, I guess. That's, they have these sprouts and then they grow them like that, 10 centimeter or 15 or so. And then they offer them in the shops and groceries uh, in little boxes. So you can take them, you can also uh, take them, make them yourself. You can grow them yourselves. But I'm trying them yet. I'm trying them so far. I just pick them, get them uh, once in a while, and I'll try some recipes with it. I'm not sure because when I put the whole long microgreens, they are long, um, thin um, yeah, threads, say. Put them in there like that and don't cut them. Uh, the texture don't like. I don't like the texture. I found it you, uh, as if you're eating threads, man. Thin uh, threads. Uh, they don't stay crisp. They, they get um, wilty a little bit. And so I cut them. Uh, into small pieces. Don't take too much because they have a strong flavor. <clears throat> they are very healthy and powerful, these microgreens. Very recommended. But I take them more than a, like a seasoning. So cut them in small pieces yeah. um, and then I mix them under the, the, the whole um, salad together with the tomatoes. They should be cut small for that reason. Yeah. And I also add, put um, the dressing on top, the garlic cashew dressing. Also powerful dressing. It's um, There's another video linked under this one how to make it. It's runny this time and um, I blend cashews with a lot of garlic, pepper, salt and lemon 
and water, of course, and then you have this um, nice cashew garlic dressing, garlic cashew dressing. Uh, it's so versatile, it gets, goes with so many, with so many um, different salads. Uh, I hardly ever had a dressing that was like that. I, soon I will make the next one, and I see how far it goes. But this one was really amazing. So many different salads, I can't tell you the number. <laughs> yeah. And this is a new one again, and now I'll see. I will not toss it right away because it's a still a medium tender leaf, the frise. And so I will wait until I eat it directly before eating. I will toss it then. Otherwise, they wilt again, and so they have good in it, so the leaves not so good. But uh, this is here a salad with lots of greens. It's the microgreens, the parsley, another the cilantro, and um, the frise. So big greens, and I really was craving for that. I didn't have a salad yesterday. Usually I have it every day. But when I fast one day, and the next day I um, don't want to eat so much, and salad comes late in the day, so I eat a fruit in the morning, a big fruit salad, and then I'm not hungry, I don't want to have <laughs> the salad. Then I'm missing out the greens. So I was, today I was really craving the greens. So I put more greens in, and uh, let's see what, it, what it's like when I eat it. Can, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to eat it <laughs> now. I'm already watering my mouth. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe MD Vegan YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. Let's enjoy endless vegan variety. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and